Hi guys, today I have my Panda palette update number one. I cannot believe it's already been a month. Today is Sunday, June 5th, so just one day short of a full month. So if you guys didn't know, I'm trying to pan the CoverGirl little quad. This is in the 700 Notice Me Nudes. And I'm also trying to, um, in this one I'm trying to finish it completely out. And then the Sonicastic Eye on Neutral Mattes palette. I am trying to finish out six shadows and then hit pan on the remaining six. So quickly, I just want to go into the CoverGirl little quad right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, there's quite a bit of a dip going on in this one and this one. These two shades right here are the ones that I use the most. This one, for the most part, every time I'm doing my shadow, especially during the week is when I try to focus on this little quad. I will pop it on my lid and then blend it into the crease and sometimes just leave it at that. Sometimes I will bring in this shadow right here and then just help blend it into the crease a little bit more just to deepen it up a little bit more. And that's why these two have the most dip going on. This one right here, you see a little dip right there and it's that small because I use an angled brush and I pretty much for the most part only use this shadow to set my liner on my upper lash line and to smoke out my lower lash line. I don't use very dark shadows like these in in my crease very often, um, especially for like a weekday and stuff like that. That's just too smoky for me. Uh, but I am going to continue working on the shadow. I'm actually thinking of using this in my brows as well. We shall see. I don't know. It looks a little dark, but I cannot maybe try to use it on the tail of my brow to make use out of it. This one right here is the one that was the most shocking to me because when you swatch these two, they, I, I don't, my daughter was calling me, so I think I forgot where I was, I left off. I think I was talking about these two shadows right here. They're just very different. Um, they're very similar in finish, but the texture of them are very different. This one's very, very dry, and it's just, I found that it's not my favorite out of the quad. I I don't really like it, and that's a problem because it's the biggest one out of, out of all four of them. But this is the way that I have enjoyed using it the most. I actually like putting it in the inner part of my lid. It's the only way that I actually like it, which becomes a problem because I don't have a lot of lid space. Uh, and if I continue only using it that way, it's going to take me a little while to finish it out. I have tried it all over my lid. I don't really like it that way. I've also tried it as a highlight, and it's not my favorite. So every time I have used it as a highlight, I have to top it off with another highlighter, which... I just find that to be very wasteful, you know, just to put it down and then cover it up with something else. Uh, so I'm still trying to work with that. And then I've also used it as an inner corner highlight and it's not my favorite. It's just, it's a little bit too light uh, for my skin. And whenever I'm using a highlighter product, I like it to kind of fuse into the rest of my skin. So I'm going to continue using this little quad. Another thing that I'm having, I'm struggling with right now is because it's spring and summer, I want to be playing with color. And with this little quad, it can become smoky very, very quickly. And that's just not something that I want to be wearing on a regular basis. But still, I'm going to continue to work on it. The next palette is my Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral palette and as you can see I do have glimmers of hope showing and I'm so happy about that. It actually happened a lot faster than I expected because once I hit pan it just started expanding really really fast which was shocking but the reason for that is is because they're very very powdery so the shadows that i'm working on for this project is this one this one this one this one this one and this one and i've been working on them all within this last month but the ones that i have been focusing on the most is this one this one and this one right here this one right here is i just love the color of it so every time i do my eyes majority of the time when I'm not um, going in for the one shadow kind of look. This is the shadow that I reach for pretty much every single time, 98% of the time. Uh, whether I use it on its own just to define the crease a little bit or add a little bit of color and then bring it down to the sides of my lid uh, and leave it leave it at, at that and that's just the eye look that I'm going for that day. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put this, in, use it as a transition color and then deepen it out with this one right here or mix these two right here to deepen out the crease. Uh, these two right here are what I use today to deepen out my crease. And then this shadow right here uh, was kind of shocking to me because I only use it to set my liner uh, on my upper lash line. I've also used it to kind of 
smoke up the bottom lash line but I think because I'm using a more dense brush like a, um, a flat definer brush or an angled brush they're a lot more dense so it digs into the product a little bit more uh, I think that's just the only reason why I was able to show pan on this one again I don't know if I mentioned but they're very powdery which is I think one of the reasons why this one just seems to be going a little bit faster than the other one that is it for this update guys i will have before and after pictures for you guys to see from intro to today i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you are working on a pan that palette i really have been enjoying i'm addicted to watching the panning community is just so much fun and it's challenging at the same time so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you are doing a pan that palette challenge and i will make sure to check it out i hope you guys had a great weekend and i will see you guys in the next one bye